the, the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Spencer Tunick invites you to strip off down at Bondi on Saturday to raise funds and awareness to beat skin cancer. And he joins us right now. Woo-hoo! Spencer, Spencer yeah! Tunick. Spencer, thanks for coming in, mate. Um, your work has been um, celebrated here in Sydney before. Uh, what year was it that you did the Opera House and how many people turned up and, and took their clothes off? Uh, 2010 and 5,000 people. 5,000 people on the steps and the flat of... Um, on the steps of the Opera, opera house, house. And also, I convinced the Opera House to let me inside and work in, in there as well. It was <laughs> fascinating. That, that is an amazing photo. I mean, you, it basically the forecourt of the Opera House. You can't even see the stairs, mm-hmm. and that's with people who decided to get down there. Are, are you surprised to get people down there sometimes, Spencer? Is it, is it getting bigger and bigger every time you do it? Well, um, I, I was surprised uh, when I did my first work in Melbourne in 2001. I expected maybe 1,000 people and 4,000 showed up in yeah. Melbourne. So I was like, something's happening in Australia. People just need, <laughs> they need to it. To get nude. Because I think, you know, and Matt DeGroote, who's not with us today, unfortunately, but he uh, joined you for your Opera House one. And what I think is fascinating is there's this nervous energy behind dropping your clothes if you're not naturally a nudist. But once they're off, 30 seconds in, he said it's just... Like any other day. Yeah, it's like the the streakers have clothing, you know, and so uh, people walking by with clothes are at, at the ones that are quite odd. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's just a transformative moment. It's one that you'll remember for the rest of your lives. And uh, this is my seventh trip to uh, Australia. Awesome. And so lucky sevens. I hope people really uh, take off their clothes for skin cancer, for the charity uh, Skin Check Champions. And we, are, we still have room for people. We still uh, can can squeeze like maybe 500 more people in there. Wow, so you, which part of Bondi Beach are you going to be on and how many people are you expecting on Saturday? Uh, definitely the dry side. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, the the side that's above 60 degree Fahrenheit. Um, it, no, we, we're going to be uh, uh, right in the middle and, right. uh, and we're going to be uh, doing many setups ending it with a, a big surprise and so okay because one thing's interesting about some of your work is the positions that people get into um, some more confronting than others you might say if you're nervous about nudity because sometimes it's just stand up could be a lie down uh, almost like a plank other times you can be in the downward dog position which of course if you look up and you're in that position it could be quite confronting Right, definitely. Um, I, you know, I have to keep the positions quite basic because some people, their body shapes are quite larger and they're not as flexible. Yeah, and so I don't me. want to embarrass anyone with any crazy yoga poses. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, we just try to um, create, you know, this new sort of organism that exists that kind of juxtaposes the background. So we'll have this beautiful ocean and the sand will be taken over with skin. Can I ask, because you're obviously encouraging people to come down to Bondi on Saturday, for someone like Sarah, who is a never nude, she she showers with um, cut-off shorts, denim mm-hmm. shorts on, what would you say to somebody who's nervous about it or at this current stage uncomfortable but might be 1% considering Saturday? Yeah, well, we uh, I never try to convince people to do it. I try to get the... Uh, if you're 50-50, mm. then I'll start convincing you. Mm. So if you're 50-50, I say... You know, this will be one of the moments in your of your life that you'll tell your grandchildren about, or it's a story that you'll take with you, not because only for yourself, because you're seeing all these bodies in front of you of all shapes and sizes. And for this one, people will be showing their scars, you know, their yep. skin can- yeah. skin cancer scars are from uh, the removal of skin cancer. So a lot of people who have had scars, whether it's for skin cancer, for other operations, come and they they there's body acceptance, and they, you know, it's it's. Yeah, it'd be it's, quite liberating. Yeah, the body is beautiful. It's very different coming from my perspective where I don't want to get nude, so obviously I can appreciate it, but I'm not going to be involved. You should as opposed do to it. someone who would find it quite exhilarating yeah. to be part of something like that. Right. Uh, you know, fortunately, not everyone wants to do it. If everyone wants to do it, I wouldn't be able to do my work. That's right. That I'd have 50,000 people I couldn't control on that beach. Wow, that would be <laughs> tight. Are you, are you going to target... Now, down at Bondi, one of the most iconic beaches in the world, Right. our lifeguards are very well known down there. 
they have their own television show in Australia, Spencer. Yeah. Did you know about this? Uh, no, no. I thought they were. I was told that they're going to do their own private group work. Yes. So, yeah. yes. <laughs> have you had Have you had any celebrities over the years come down and support your cause? Have they come down and, and stripped for you? Can you remember, oh, Spencer? Goodness gracious! Uh, I know that Lady Gaga wrote her thesis. Uh, I'm one of. The, I'm in her thesis. Wow. Uh, as far as posing for me, I, I kind of don't reveal too many people. Yes. Uh, I know that Drew Barrymore once wanted to pose for me but i kind of i kind of got shy and all that what about (laughs) celebrities that have bought images that you've taken um uh, juliana moore collects my work um uh collects your work yes yeah she owns it wow my work and so that's someone. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Love that. She's well, very you, comfortable with her body. Yeah. Yeah. Spence, do you, do you do you take selfies of yourself sometimes? Oh, I'm, not, just, I'm, oh. I'm interested to know. You're looking I for can, tips? You're always yeah. going on the lens. Well, we could meet outside. I, could <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you were going to test out an idea, though, is that what you mean, Fitz? Yeah. If you were thinking of something. Just the, um, I, my wife has been testing my ideas for 25 years so i'll i'll go up on top of a small mountain overlooking my town and and she'll hold a prop that my i might want to multiply by a thousand people so for this work that i'm doing in sydney she did some test photographs with me where she held a special secret prop prop that we're using and then i sent naked f- photos to Scott yeah. and he he approved not only my wife but approved the prop. Uh. <laughs> Amazing. Well, actually, Scotty's here as well because we need to raise money for Skin Check Champions um, and you can register. If you want to go down to Bondi on Saturday, the website is F... Uh, is, sorry, S-O-F-S-C. I, dot, it's a bit confusing. Just go SkinCheckChampions.com. SkinCheckChampions. Yeah, um, this is very close to your heart, isn't it? And, and in Australia here, obviously, we need to... I mean, we need to go and get checked. There's a lot of people that don't worry about it and they don't care about it, but really it is, especially in Australia, we need to go get checked early, don't we? Yeah, and especially now, like the last few years, a lot of us haven't been able to do it. Mm. Mm. And there's massive bottleneck apparently in the healthcare system of people wandering around with skin cancer that don't even know. No. Yeah, right. And like the sooner you get onto it, the better off you'll be. And yeah. 98%, I think, is the success rate. If you find it early, you're yeah. going to be you're gonna be sweet. So... Like, we just want to make as much noise as possible with yep. this and raise as much money as we can to pilot a national skin check program. Well, Scotty, you also got on the name Jimmy Niggles, which we love because you've done so much great work. Jimmy was the man who had the giant beard, which yes. we auctioned off. How much money was raised that night? Well, he raised 430k that That night. was phenomenal. Yeah. So, this guy, Jimmy had the biggest beard. How long Amazing. have you been growing it for? 11 years. 11 my, years. Yeah. And you sprayed, it actually came out. It was It was. It it was, was a, sold it was a piece on the night. I should have bought it in. Solid. <laughs> oh, no, I should carry it with it? me all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have something carrying around. Because you sprayed it and hardened it up, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. We had Chris Hemsworth's barber come in and his team like pounced on me after filming Thor that day and just like for an hour or 40 minutes during the ball, just caked it in hairspray and then took it off my body. It was and then like it was like Lion King holding Did it, it up. Did it hurt your neck? A beard that long, like, does, did it do when anything? Wait, like, well, hmm? it would weigh a bit, wouldn't yeah. it? I did that night, but I don't know. I just kind of get used to it. I got a good. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I loved about it too? Is that when you met your wife, you had a beard, and then you'd been together eleven years. Your wife had never seen you without oh. a beard. And you Damn. took it off and she went, put it back on. Remember that? Yeah, Are you away. growing it again yeah. for her? Yeah. And she's left you since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic. All right, if you've ever skinny dipped down at Bondi, this is All your right, opportunity Sarah, to get you down and I, Sarah. Mm-hmm. No go- chance, but I'm very excited to see the picture. <laughs> it, it is going to be a beautiful day, mid-20s, down at the most iconic beach in the world. I get down there. Spencer will be down there filming you and, and, and taking photos. It's for a great cause. Like we said, go check out Skin Check Champions and you can register there. Spencer. Sir, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you so much. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Jimmy. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.